Hi, I'm Coach Landry, and the topic is tips for resolving issues in your relationship. Over time, issues can erode away at your relationship. So it's really important that you find some places to start. Um, if you're not used to turning towards feelings and issues and dealing with them in relationships, when you're, not, when you're out of practice, when you don't know how to go about this, this typically causes havoc. Okay, number one is I want you to validate your emotions. Start by honoring what's there and realize your feelings are valid and shouldn't be kind of stuffed down. Now, that doesn't mean you just cock out of your mouth and yell them out at everybody. What it means is you say, hey, this is what I'm feeling. This is valid. I do need to talk about these things. Okay, number two, and this goes back to what I just said, learn to regulate your emotions. And this does take practice. Learn how to sit with these situations and be and have uncomfortable emotions, um, so you're more able to validate. Them. Remember, you can't validate your emotions when you're yelling them at somebody. You can't validate your emotions when you're coming at someone. You can't validate some your emotions when you're attacking somebody, but you can validate them when you can talk about them op- openly. When you learn to be uncomfortable, right? When you don't know what to do about something that's hurting you, bothering you, frustrating you, annoying you, whatever it might be, you have to become practiced at being able to control the way you express them, okay? Some people can't help themselves and they need to learn not to. Number three would be begin. Start talking to your partner um, about your desire to deal with them um, in between the two of you. Let your partner know some of the issues are old. Uh, Some might be new. Uh, Tell them how scared you are to do this. Tell them it makes you nervous to have to go about this. Don't act like you have it all in control because you don't right? And how hard it feels and ask them to support the process. Say, I'm looking for you to help me here. I'm struggling with this. Okay. Um, have the conversation before ever bringing up the issues. In other words, maybe talk to the, your partner at some point and say, Hey, you know, sometimes I struggle to be able to talk to you about these things. I want you to help me be able to talk about them. I know it's not always your fault. I know sometimes it's my fault. I know sometimes maybe it is your fault, but I still want to be able to talk about these things. Help me figure out a way to do this. And maybe your partner will have some suggestions and you should be open to ideas they have about doing it. Number four, I want you to reflect. As you begin to have the conversation, um, allow yourself to be um, a beginner. Um, Allow your partner to be a beginner. Um, Learn together kind of how to deal with things. As you begin to have the conversation, attempt to repair things. Um, Notice what worked well. Notice what didn't. Um, Notice what you want to do better next time. Um, You have a hard conversation. Okay. And number five would be practice. Like I just said, expect it to be a journey. Okay. This isn't something that one conversation, everything's just going to magically be better. Um, Allow yourself, like I said, to be a beginner about it. Um, How to deal with the issues um, so that you don't end your feelings with um, anger. You want to. You basically the way you want these conversations to come to an end is connection and forgiveness, one or the other or both. All right. Either have a connection about dual understanding, and remember, if you attack, if you yell, if you accuse, and you constantly call the other person out for what they're doing, but don't take self accountability, you will have a lopsided conversation. The other person is going to want to walk away. Okay. You and your relationship are worth nurturing and healing. Remember that. Just because you haven't done it in the past. Um, or haven't done it well, doesn't mean you can't be- begin to do it now. Uh, hard work, but ultimately it's worth it to learn. I'm a big proponent of on any given day, if you want something to be better, you can make it better on any given day. It may be too late. Maybe your partner may have already checked out or moved on, but the point is is that you should make that effort before it's too late if it's something you want to happen. You know, It's really important um, in our life that we validate the way we feel, but we don't do it at the detriment of our relationship. Okay. We do, we don't want to end things when we're trying to fix things. Okay. So think about that. Leave your comments below, contact me at the link below, and I will talk to you soon.